from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Special rates for servicemen, sis? What for, sir? World War I. The big war. Sorry, full price, please. Two. Twenty-five years you've been trying to get away with that, dearie, and it hasn't worked yet. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? This is Bob, Seventh War Loan Hope, telling you to buy those bonds, get that load off your hips, and when the war is over, your pocketbook will be in the chips. Thank you. Well, I hope you enjoy our show, and just to give you an idea as to the quality, we're going to open with Betty Grable and her bombardiers in Marching to a Love Song. You all know who Betty Grable is. That's Hollywood's answer to the fuel shortage. And here she is, Betty Grable. <laughs> Betty Grable, thank you, girls. Aren't they pretty? You'd think having beautiful girls around like that all the time would bother a fellow like me, but oh, I'd really done... Oh, oh. <laughs> anyway, I want to thank that couple for waiting until after the number was over before coming in. That's for... Say, unless my recognition signals deceive me, it's that famous couple from 79 Wistful Vista, Fibber McGee and Molly. <laughs> with the show, Mr. Hope. We don't want to interrupt. If this thing gets too much for you, bud, just call on me. Uh, what can you do, son, besides not straighten out a closet? <laughs> <laughs> I do card tricks, play the mandolin. I can master a ceremony as good as anybody. Dance? No, I'll sit this one out. <laughs> don't you get it, Molly? He says... It ain't funny, McGee. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Love that man. It ain't funny, Hope. Ain't funny. 
They're giving the extras lines to read now. <laughs> Silly boy. And now here's a great musical aggregation, Harry James and his boys. And also a fellow that used to work with him, Mr. Swoon himself, the old Calypso singer, Frank Sinatra. Saturday night is the loneliest night of the week Cause that's the night that my sweetie and I used to dance cheek to cheek I don't mind Sunday night at all Cause that's the night friends come to call And Monday to Friday go fast And another week is past Saturday night is the loneliest night of the week. I sing the song that I sang for the memories I usually see. Until I hear you at the door. Until you're in my arms once more. Saturday night is the loneliest night of the week. the door until you're in my arms once more Saturday night is the loneliest night of the week Thank you Frankie Thank you just lie down there any place. That was B2 Sinatra, folks. The only singer that has given Crosby any competition since Jenny Lynn. But we... <laughs> they must have nylons back there. But anyway, here's the rare musical treat of the evening. I... <laughs> Crosby just met Morgenthau. Here's one of the finer things of the evening, a brief interlude with the classics. <laughs> Thank you. 
that new plaid. <laughs> Thank you, Harpo Marx. Thank you. Thank you. Say, I'd like to stop the show for just a few minutes here and explain exactly why we're here. Let's pretend this all-star bond rally is taking place in this very theater. This theater is a community center in this city because your manager has gone from show business into the grim business of war. Right here, he helps the war fund, the March of Dimes, and the Red Cross. And right here, he sells war bonds every minute of the day or night. Yes, sir, your theater manager has a red, white, and blue streak up his back. We want you to buy extra war bonds. That's the deadly serious purpose behind the fun of all these stars. Durbingo, Harpo, and all these stars could tell you some fantastic stories about this war that we're in. Stories about the horrors and the sufferings, the bombing, and the magnificence of all those fighting guys from Keokuk, Seattle, and all points, east, west, north, and south. And you know, when you talk to those guys with the guns, those guys are doing the fighting and the falling and the dying, you don't mention war bonds. You don't have to, because they're buying them, too, with all their monthly pay. We folks in the home front are buying bonds, but we have to buy more and more and more to make victory complete. Thank you. You know, in this dirty business of war, you can't blame a guy for keeping before him a little bit of beauty. Memories of the girl back home. Every kid in every hospital on every battlefront has his pinup, and when boy meets girl again, it's going to be... Thanks for the memory. Ah, Linda, if you were only here to nurse me. Now, Freddie, they have enough trouble with your temperature as it is. <laughs> is there a doctor in the house? Think of it, Faye. Just you and me up here, all alone. You think so, Skipper? How about that Messerschmitt coming in at 9 o'clock? I'd like to break radio silence and send you a long, long message. If you can't put it into three little words, dear, don't bother. Oh, Vivian. Would I love to see you when I go ashore tomorrow night? Sorry. I've just made a date with the sailor down below. <coughs> Toots, you're a bunny, bunny lass to have along in a blooming mud hole. Thank you, man. I'll be thinking on you. Those broad, bricked, moonlit nicks. Curry or MacDougall. Quick! This is sure hot work, and I'd much rather be at home playing ball with you. Mom says we are playing ball with you, Pop. We just bought another bond. Thank you so much. Well, we've had Betty Grable for the men and Frank Sinatra for the women, so here's Mr. In-Between, the one man who's happy that they put a curfew on the star club, old Chubb and Blub Crosby. Thank you very much, fatter than me. <clears throat> it's revolting, the people you have to follow these days, isn't it? A leopard gets better spots than this. Oh, well, I'd, I'd like to get serious for a moment, if I can. The boys' reactions to the pinups were amusing, weren't they? I got a kick out of them, too. The reactions weren't really funny, you know. 
Not if you've ever pinned your hopes to a dream, I mean. Show folks who have traveled the USO circuit have had the opportunity of learning firsthand what a fighting man wants most. He wants to win the war and he wants to get home. You have no idea how beautiful that simple word sounds to a fighting man. Home. Was it going to be a dream or is it going to be a reality? for you to decide in this seventh war alone. The national E-bond quota is $4 billion. That's the greatest yet. But in buying bonds, you'll have the warm satisfaction of knowing that you've made much more real a fighting man's dream of victory, peace. I got a kick out of them, too. The reactions weren't really funny, you know. Not if you've ever pinned your hopes to a dream, I mean. Show folks who have traveled the USO circuit have had the opportunity of learning firsthand what a fighting man wants most. He wants to win the war and he wants to get home. You have no idea how beautiful that simple word sounds to a fighting man. Home. Was it going to be a dream or is it going to be a reality? It's for you to decide in this seventh war alone. The national E-bond quota is $4 billion. That's the greatest yet. But in buying bonds, you'll have the warm satisfaction of knowing that you've made much more real a fighting man's dream of victory, peace, and home. I'd like to emphasize those sentiments by singing a little song that was written by Harold Adamson and Jimmy McHugh. If Harry James and the boys will go along with me. Okay, Rob? Bonds you buy will bring you victory. Buy, 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 buy a bond. And you'll be standing by the victory arch when Johnny comes marching home again. Oh, you should need no request. For after all, you know that you're investing in the best. Till the lads come back again, back the old attack again. Buy, buy, bond. This is no time to say you've done enough. This is the time to really do your stuff. And even if you can't be a soldier in the ranks, you can be the guy to help supply the guns and planes and tanks. This is the time for you to do your best. This is no time for you to take a rest. The enemy is reeling and his morale is low. Now's the time to fall in line and deal the final blow. Buy, 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 buy a bond. Buy a bond. And by and by, the bonds you buy will bring you victory. Buy, 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 buy a bond. Buy a bond. And you'll be standing by the victory arch when Johnny comes marching home again. Oh, you should need no request. Buy a bond. For after all, in the best till the lads come back again. Why didn't they call on me? I could have done something. You still can, dearie. Huh? What? Look. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.